And yeah, combating this crisis, just about everyone agrees there is no silver bullet. For those, those struggling with addiction, the most important step can be the hardest one to take. And that is simply asking for the first time. I was like, okay, you know, I'm, I'm going to try this. It was less than four days ago that 24-year-old Cole decided to change his life and started by walking to a truck bay at the Manchester Fire Station. Brought me and they sat me down. They asked me if I needed anything. Um, Were you nervous? Yeah, I was really nervous. I was. But within seconds, the nerves were gone. They didn't discriminate against me because, you know, I was a drug addict or anything. They wanted to make sure that I was just comfortable and that I felt comfortable enough to get the recovery. After a medical evaluation and a cup of coffee, the folks at Hope for Recovery New Hampshire were called in to take over. And in less than an hour, Cole was surrounded by others fighting the same fight. He had taken the first step. It's just another access point to get someone to Hope, and then they can get them to us to help them get clinical services or actually help them get anywhere. It's too early to call it a trend, but since the beginning of May, overdoses in Manchester are down by a third compared to this time last month. And Safe Station organizer Chris Hickey says more people have come in this month asking for help than those who have overdosed and needed the help. Three of those overdoses uh, since the first of the month have actually been three people that have come in for the program a couple of days later. But of all the places, why the fire department? Yeah, you know, they're, they're not afraid of anything. <laughs> Straight up. Well, in this case, the respect goes both ways. I mean, we admire them. I mean, the hardest first step is to admit that you need help and to stick with it. Does this time feel different for you? Yeah, it does. I relapsed a couple times, but this last time, I, I honestly have a clear head on my shoulders. I know what I want to do in life. What's that? I want to help. I want to help people that are in the same situation I am. Really? You're going to make a life out of this? I'm going to try. I'm definitely going to try. Now, best of luck to him. Obviously, there's still plenty of work to be done, but in this case, the plan appears to be working, and Manchester Mayor Ted Gatsis calls this program a model for the state and the country. Reporting live, Josh McKelvin, WMUR News 9.